Miss Mathesy here, coming to you today with another online art lesson. Do you know what season it is right now? It's spring. I love spring because there are flowers everywhere. So today, I'm going to teach you how you can draw a few different kinds of flowers, and then I'm also going to show you how you could use these flowers to make a greeting card. Ready to get started? Okay, let's go. The first kind of flower I'm going to show you how to draw is a daisy. To draw a daisy, you start out by making a circle, which is going to be the middle of the flower. Then you're going to make a U shape for the petal that just goes around and around and around the circle just like that. Notice how these petals are kind of short and thick. The other way that you can make a daisy is to make a circle in the middle and then you can make the petals long and thin like this. And if it makes it easier, you can actually turn your paper while you're drawing to help you get the petals to go around the center like this. And then you just keep making nice, long, thin U's going around and around till you cover the whole circle like that. And then if you'd like to, you can go ahead and add a stem and you can add some leaves to it too. Any kind of leaves that you like are okay. The second kind of flower I'm going to show you how to draw is a rose. To draw a rose, you start out by drawing a smushed spiral or like a spiral that's an oval shape like this. Then you're going to draw a U shape underneath that's a little bit wider at the top and then it's narrower or thinner here at the bottom. And then you can add a curved line in the front like that to make the petal. And you can also add a stem and some leaves for your rose as well. The third type of flower I'm gonna show you how to draw is a tulip. To start out with a tulip, you make the letter U. Then you're going to draw a teardrop-like shape in the middle gonna look something like this. And then you're going to draw a curved line on this side and a curved line on this side to attach the petals to the middle. And there's your tulip flower. Now tulip stems are actually kind of curved. So I like to make a curvy line for my tulip stem. And then their leaves are actually long and thin like this. And they usually start at the bottom of the stem. So you can go ahead and make some long leaves for your tulip. And there you have it. Now the first thing that you're going to need for your greeting card is a piece of paper. Now you can just use plain white paper or if you have colored construction paper at home then you can use that as well. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your piece of paper in half like a hamburger. So that means you're going to fold it so that it's nice and wide like this. Now, if you were to fold it the other way, like a hot dog, it would be long and thin, like this. So you wanna make sure that you fold it so it's short and wide. And then on the front of your card, if you'd like, you could just draw some spring flowers, like the ones that we had practiced drawing, and you can even color them in if you'd like, or you can make a collage. A collage is when you take different pieces of paper and you put them together to make a picture. And guess what? Even if you don't have any colored construction paper at home, you can still make a collage by using some of those free magazines and catalogs that you get in the mail all the time. So the first thing that I did was went through all the magazines and I cut out some different pictures of things that I thought would be good for my flowers. So that means that you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're also going to need some glue. Now a glue stick works best if you have it, but if not, then you can just use squeezy glue or you can use some tape instead. Whatever you have at home is okay. Now I'm going to show you a couple of examples of some cards that I made. On this first card, I made a daisy on top where I just drew the daisy onto one piece of paper and I cut it out and I glued it onto the card. And then for the bottom daisy, I made each of the petals out of a different piece of paper and I cut them all out and I glued them all together. And how I was able to make all the petals look the same was first I just drew one petal that I liked and then I traced it onto different pieces of paper like this and then I cut all of them out and I put them all together. And then you'll notice I also even cut out a different piece for the circle in the middle. 
On this card, I decided not to add any stems or leaves. And I also drew some details, like here in the middle, I drew some dots. And then here on the flower petals, I drew some lines. So you can go ahead and add that as well if you'd like. On the other card, for the rose and for the tulip, I just drew them onto one piece of paper and cut them out and glued them on. And then for the stems and the leaves, I made those out of different kinds of paper. And then I glued them all together to make my collage. So who do you think that you might like to make a card for? Maybe you could make a birthday card or a thank you card or you could just make a spring flower picture. Either way, I hope you have fun and happy art making. Bye!